lunch. Ooh, she's ready. <laughs> Alright, for lunge, cartwheel lunge, the gymnast will begin in the lunge position. Again, all the way to the front leg, reaching forward. We're going to see them stretch as far as they can in the cartwheel. Great kick over. Kicking the vertical in the cartwheel. Correct hand placement. Arms by the ears throughout the scope. And the land back in a flat leg. Good. One of the things you'll see in the cartwheel is the kick over the top. As you'll see them kick up with their head out. Whenever they can do their carbon, we're looking for arms by their ears throughout the entire skill. Go ahead and come back. Reverse. Lunge. So as they begin the skill, arms are tight by their head, squeezing. Then when they reach and they go upside down, they're keeping their arms by their ears as they reach for the floor. Good. The other thing you want to look for is their hand placement. Just like their handstand, we're looking for open palms. Push the kiss hands spread apart. Whenever the hands come down, this hand placement is going to make them harder to learn a round off and get the push off the floor. The same one if their hands are turned in inverted, it's not going to give them enough. It's going to make their elbows bend instead of their shoulders to push. The whole point of the cartwheel is to progress into the round off. So right now, the, all the things you're looking for are the same things you're looking for in round off. You place them on the floor, the legs kicking over the top, the way they begin and the way they end the skill. When they begin the skill when you lunge, the hips should be square, belly button is facing forward, and they land in the air. Cartwheel. When they land, we want the gymnast to finish the opposite direction, so when they step in for the round off, their hips will be in line to progress into the backhand swing.